In this lesson, we'll learn how we can draw different mouth expressions for our characters. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in this course, we're going to be learning how we can lip sync a character's mouth expressions to some imported audio. Now, I just want to mention here at the beginning of this course that we're using Toon Boom Harmony. So if you're using Animate or Animate Pro, you'll find that the project files that accompany this course will not open in either one of those applications. However, everything that we're going to be learning is very much applicable to all three applications. So again, if you're using Animate or Animate Pro, feel free to follow along, uh, perhaps using your own character. All right. So before we get into importing any kind of audio or performing any type of lip sync, let's go ahead and spend this lesson talking about phonemes and how we can draw different phonemes for our nerdy guy character that we have right here. Okay. So if you're unfamiliar with what phonemes are, I recommend you check out our course titled Drawing Phoneme Mouth Expressions in Photoshop. And that's where we really kind of get into the nitty gritty of what phonemes are and how each one of these different mouth expressions for our basic phonemes um, can be designed. Okay, So we're not really going to get into the nitty gritty of that um, in this lesson, but rather just how we can basically draw these different phonemes down here in our timeline view on different cells. Now if you look in your reference files, you're going to find this JPEG here just titled phonemes.jpg. It basically contains all of those different um, phoneme mouth expressions that we drew um, in that course. And basically a phoneme comes from the word phonology. All right. You can think of phonology as really the sound system for any kind of given language. And a phoneme is just really a basic unit of that sound system and it's how we start to combine these units together that allow us to basically create the sounds for different words. So again all these different mouth expressions are conveying some sort of sound. All right. So feel free to use this um, if you're working on your own mouth expressions, um, drawing them here in Photoshop. This will really provide you with a nice reference. We're going to go ahead and start off by drawing this mouth expression right here, MBP. This basically allows us to convey the sounds of m or b or p. Okay, great. So let's actually go ahead and switch from our camera view to our drawing view in this case. The camera view is really reserved for showing any kind of transformations with your animation. The drawing view really preserves your character in its original state. I'm just turning on my light box button right there in the drawing view toolbar. And by default, we're in our line art mode. These modes are really kind of different layers for each one of your individual layers down here in your layer section. And I want to go ahead and turn on our preview button right there that allows us to show our line art and our color art, which is on our color art mode right there. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and hide the visibility of our body so it doesn't distract us. And just zooming in there, hitting control equals on our keyboard. Let's start out by sketching out that mouth expression on a separate layer which I have right here titled sketch. I'll go ahead and duplicate this blue swatch in our color view and just double clicking on it on that swatch we'll go ahead and lower the alpha down on our alpha slider just so we can kind of lower the opacity a little bit and I'm just using my brush tool in this case. Okay so we'll go ahead and just kind of start off just with a simple line right here for this mouth expression. And then from that line, I'll go ahead and drop in the bottom lip. Now, ultimately, if you're working on your own character, it really does depend on the style of the character and how you draw the mouth. You want to draw the mouth to really fit the style of the character. So in this case, I think something like this will work nicely for our kind of geeky looking guy. Okay, something like that. Very nice. So what I can do now is you'll notice I have another layer titled Mouths. That's where we're going to actually have all of our phonemes, our different mouth expressions, if you will, drawn. I'll go ahead and switch to Black. And let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit further and apply our nice clean line work. And again, I'm doing this all in my line art mode. I kind of prefer to keep my line art and my color art separate just in case I need to make any modifications to either my line art or my color art without really worrying about affecting one or the other. It's not something you have to do, but you may want to go ahead and try that. 
Okay, and just kind of knocking out that upper lip right there. Okay, great. And so what I'd like to do now is just grab my selection tool. I'm going to select all that information right there, all of that line work. And I'm going to hit this button right here, and this will basically allow us to create line create color art from our line arts basically going to create invisible lines that'll go on our color mode right there okay so now if we switch to our color mode we can see that we have those lines right there and so what I want to go ahead and do now is basically create a swatch to fill in those lips so let's go ahead and click on red perhaps we'll duplicate that and something kind of fleshy but with a little bit of pink in it I think would be just fine perhaps something like that and we'll go ahead and grab our paint bucket tool over here in the tool bar and just fill that in. Now you'll notice as I grab the paint bucket tool, it accidentally filled it with black. You want to make sure that you're on the right swatch as you switch in between tools, okay? So we'll go ahead and grab that new swatch that we have there. And I think that'll work fine. We can go ahead and switch to our camera view just to kind of see how that's looking. And I think that'll work nicely. Okay, great. So that's our first mouth expression, right? And so what we want to go ahead and do is kind of show how we can draw an additional mouth expression that involves the jaw moving as well. This is kind of a closed mouth expression, so we're not going to have any movement in, in the jaw for this particular drawing. So let's go ahead and temporarily drag that cell containing this drawing um, forward one. That way, as I jump back up to my sketch layer, I can still see it. And then I'm going to make sure I'm using that blue and let's go ahead and turn on the visibility of our sketch layer. And so this next mouth expression we're going to go ahead and draw will be for our consonants. We bring back up our example of phonemes. Um, we have um, our mouth expression here for our consonants. And basically the mouth is slightly open. We can, we'll see the teeth basically closed there. And it, these are all the different um, basically consonant sounds that this mouth expression will convey. Okay. All right. So since we will have the jaw moving, we want to think about mouth consistency, especially with the upper lip. You don't want the upper lip to be moving all around, all over the place as the mouth moves because it's going to look like he's got a dislocated jaw or false teeth or just something, something really weird. Now, unless you're going for some sort of <laughs> kind of zombie kind of style, then that's fine. So I'm making sure to just kind of sketch over that upper lip, kind of stretching it out just a little bit more since I'm assuming the mouth will be kind of more open. This will be basically the area where the, we see the teeth, kind of drawing some line in there for the, where the teeth will be. It will be kind of a gap on either side. And then this is where we'll go ahead now and come down below and put the lower lip, something like that. And so the lower jaw is going to come down just a little bit. So just kind of sketching down just a ways here. Just coming around kind of like that. Okay, great. So now what we can do is we'll come back down to our mouths layer. We'll go ahead and scooch that initial drawing back over. Okay, just want to make sure we grab it, drag it over. There we go. Okay, great. And we'll go ahead and make sure we're using black once again for our line art. And let's go ahead and just start with the mouth here. So his mouth is open. Go ahead and get that lower lip in just once again. All right, great. And then we'll go ahead and get the upper lip. Go ahead and drop in those little corner lines while we're at it, kind of those mouth kind of smile corner lines. And then we'll get the upper lip as well. Excellent. And then we also want to have those lines kind of right there for our teeth. Great. And then we'll go ahead and do our line work for the jaw since it's going to be extended down just a little bit here. So we're not going to be going through and drawing all of the kind of nine basic phonemes that we have here. I just kind of wanted to show you how it basically works down here in our timeline view. Okay. All right. Great. So once we've done that, I want to go ahead now go ahead and select everything and just like before we want to be able to basically color this on a separate mode I prefer to kind of keep everything separate like that so let's go ahead and start with the lips once again 
We'll grab our paint bucket tool. We already have a swatch created for the lips. We'll use white for the teeth. I may want to go ahead and cr uh, create a new swatch kind of for that gap in between the teeth and the lips right there. So something maybe a little bit darker. We may want to go ahead and switch to multi-wheel mode. Something about like that I think will work fine. We'll go ahead and fill in that area right there. Now for the, the jaw area, it's not going to let me fill it in because we we don't have these lines completely enclosed. All right, It's not a completely enclosed area. So I can click on my paint bucket tool, hold down, go to stroke. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we want to connect from here to right there with an invisible line. Now both of these little points are still yellow, it means that they're not connecting completely. So I'm going to grab my contour editor tool right there. And we're going to basically uh, come in here and you can see how there's an open gap. I'm going to go ahead and come over here to my tool properties and click on this button right here so I can very easily snap these contour lines together. And we'll do the same thing over here. Excellent. So now I can grab my paint bucket tool and we'll go ahead and fill that in with the skin color. Okay, and so I want to go ahead and come up here to my head layer. I'll just grab my eyedropper tool right here to sample that skin color. And then we'll come back down here to our mouths layer and we'll go ahead and fill that in. Excellent. Okay, and we'll go ahead and go back to our camera view. And so now you can see our two different mouth expressions, all right? So let's go ahead now and kind of finish out by talking about how we can name these individual drawing layers. Right now, they're coming in as numbered. So our first one was one right here and two. And you can see this by clicking on this button right here that takes you to your data view. I actually prefer to name them for the phoneme uh, or the sound that they represent. And we'll kind of explain why this is useful in the next lesson. But basically, you can right click on the drawing cell, go up to drawings, and then go to rename drawing and we're going to title this one MBP and then we would basically do the same thing for our consonants again we're not going to get into drawing all of the different phoneme mouth expressions for our nerdy guy character but what I will do now is show you basically all the expressions that I've already drawn for him in a separate file okay so here we have our nerdy guy once again and basically, I've already gone through and drawn all of the different basic phonemes for our character. And again, these all represent or resemble, rather, the examples that we have right here. Again, these are examples that I've drawn um, for another course titled Drawing Phoneme Mouth Expressions in Photoshop. Okay, So I just kind of wanted to show you how we could draw a couple and how they exist down here um, as separate drawing cells for our mouth's layer. Now if you direct your attention finally over to our library view, you can see how those are all stored in our library view. And that's going to prove very useful later on in this course when we get into actually doing some manual lip syncing where we want to have the ability to basically switch out any one of these cells with a different mouth expression. Alright, so in our next lesson we're going to get into actually mapping our phoneme mouth expressions to the auto lip sync function that is available here in Toon Boom Harmony as well as Animate and Animate Pro. So stick around and we'll see you in the next lesson.